So now I'm going to go ahead and start uh, taking measurements using Control Cat. Um, so typically I will start with um, measuring a plane, which is very easy on a lot of parts. So in this case, to measure a plane or any other dimension, I, I tap on that icon and I hit the Enter key. It then comes up with another screen telling me the, the number of points I have to take to create a plane, uh, how many I've taken, again, what probe I'm using, and again, I could use either the horizontal or the vertical probe, and if I've done a go-to point. So I've learned that uh, it's always best to do a go-to before and after every dimension just to make sure that your probe has cleared. So if you don't know what a go-to is, it's basically telling the, the Z-Cat to go to a, a specific location um, to get either ready for something or to um, avoid something. So I'm going to give it a go-to above this plane. If I give it a quick twist, you may have heard that audio. That gives it a go-to. We'll send it right here. I'm going to then physically touch on some points. A minimum of three, but I'm going to take more than three. I'm going to give it another go-to up here to go up above that dimension. Another go-to here to drive it there. Take a few more random points on this plane. And the last one will be a go-to right there to end the process. So on the screen it's telling me I've taken five points. It does always show if the last point was a go-to. And I will hit the check mark to enter that. As soon as it's done, it will flash. I can then put it up on the screen. And I like to put them in, a, in an order of sequence so I can recall where they are. But this tells me it's plane number one. Now if I actually want to run that plane, I can highlight it. And I can hit the enter button. And now the gauge under DCC will now go in and take measurements exactly at the speed that's programmed and it will take it virtually in the same spots that I took it in the same order and it will lock it in. So when it's finished the icon is flashing it's now um, taking that plane measurement under DCC which is much more accurate than I could have done manually and I'll just turn it off and now we're finished. Thank you.